Now let's uncommon fossil be taking a look at another Aspathra EX deck uh, with a Zatu engine and a couple other alternate attackers this time. Um, the other day I made a video Aspathra with Bayonet EX. That was actually I wanted to play Bayonet EX, and the way to play it seemed to be paired with Aspathra. But honestly, through playing the deck, I really found the strengths of Aspathra EX, and I want to explore that, this Pokemon, more. So Aspathra EX, 260 HP. It's a stage one, so um, it's, it, you know I think the stage ones are pretty easy to get into play. You don't need rare candy, um, so that's good. The other attackers I have in the deck are basic, so that, that pairs well, too, to have that flexibility. Uh, it has an attack that's solid. Uh, for one Psychic Energy, it does 30 damage plus 30 more for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So while it can attack for one, we probably are pouring multiple energies onto it. And then our opponent's forced to get extra energies attached to their active Pokemon as well because it's got the Dazzling Gaze ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active, as long as this po Pokemon is the active spot, attacks used by your opponent's active Pokemon cost one energy, one color's energy more so very effective so your opponent has to get more energy to play and it's actually very disruptive um you know it hits charizard dx for weakness which is good and it's also good against these basic only like ancient and future decks because they need, now need one extra energy for dazzling gauge gaze and if we have our stadium in play they need two extra energies to attack with a basic and that makes life really really difficult for them so three is death or ex uh four of the flittle because this is the main attacker so four copies there a, 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 a four four Zatu Andrew. You're never gonna. You don't need to get four in play, but you might. But you're probably getting three in play is a good thing. And so therefore, four copies just makes it easier to get three into play. Then the other two Pokemon. One is Mew EX. Oh, so Zatu's ability. I, I should have said that. Um, I just assumed everyone knows it, but maybe you don't. So clairvoyant sense ability. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic psychic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you do that, then you would draw two cards. So it gets energy acceleration and draws cards to hand. So very, very, very good there, I will say. Important for a deck like this. Uh, so playing Mewtwo EX, this um, uh, particularly the second attack Photon Kinesis can be useful. It's lightning type, so it now gives us a, another type to hit for, for weakness, which is nice. But Photon Kinesis for two Psychic Energy does 10 damage plus 30 more for each Psychic Energy attached to all your Pokemon. So just, so with Aspathra, it wants energy attached to it. So we're flooding energy on the Aspathra. If we just get two energies on Mewtwo EX, we can attack with that and leave the Aspathra EX safely on the bench. So that's a nice option. Another weakness, and it can take advantage of loading up an Aspathra EX on the bench while doing some meaningful damage with the Mewtwo EX. And then we also play Mew EX. It has free retreat. We want a pivot rate because Zatu only accelerates to the Pokemon on the bench. So having a free retreat Pokemon is good. The other deck had Cleffa before. I like Cleffa too. I don't think deck space wise I want two, two pivot Pokemon. So Mew EX. And it's got the restart ability because the deck Zatu is nice for to draw some cards, but it only works if you have energy in hand. So that can be... That is a weak spot with this deck, but restart once during your turn. You can draw, so you have three cards in hand. That can be useful there. Free retreat and genome hack, genome ha genome hacking. Sorry, uh, is an, a very useful attack. But it's three energy, and of course we have Zatu to, to accelerate energies to it. And then you choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. So just useful there in in some situations. So keep this as kind of the number three attacker as well so that that's the, the list of pokemon keeping it fairly simple there uh gone with 12 basic psychic energies the deck before i think with, with the with the bayonet build had 11 you really want as many energies as you can in a zatu engine deck because you got to get these energies in hand so went with 12 i would like some more but just don't feel i can do that all right what let's see dive in with what will we get pokemon to play with four buddy buddy poffin gets the Natsus down, gets the Flittles down. That's really good. So four copies of that, four copies of Ultra Ball. We need the Evolutions, and we also need the Tanky or Basics that we can't get with Buddy Buddy Poffin. And then playing four copies of Capturing Aroma. Um, I just think it's either this or a Great Ball. I mean, there are supporters that also can grab some Pokemon too, but I think Capturing Aroma is the best 
option right now. It's 50-50 whether you're going to get the Pokemon you want, but it, it's 50-50, I feel like, with Great Ball. The odds may be a little worse. This deck list actually has less Pokemon, so maybe maybe it's worth trying Great Ball instead of Capturing Aroma as I'm, ta as I'm thinking about it, but going to keep it this way for now. This is probably the better way. Uh, one copy of Energy Retrieval. We just need to get those energies in hand too, so we can attach them, select them with Zatu. So eventually energies get in the discard pile, we get two to hand. We also have two Super Rods. Um, you put, and it goes from the discard pile to the deck, any combination of three Pokemon and or basic energy. So, so just good there. Um, we play three copies of the stadium I was talking about, in the, talking about um, Espathra's uh, attack. Because um, this pairs well with it, attacks of each bo basic Pokemon and play both yours and your opponent. So just keep that in mind, because it does impact our Mew EX and Mewtwo EX. Uh, but they cost one colorless energy more to attack. So that paired with Espathra EX basics now take two extra energies to attack, and that is very disruptive. Um, so that's three copies of that stadium because I just really like it. So three copies there. I'm playing Prime Catcher in the deck. Uh, which you switch your opponents, then you switch your Pokemon. The old other deck had the um, the one that adds 100 HP, uh, which I'm blanking on right now. It doesn't, um, uh, but anyway, I think this is better with the deck. I'm trying to rather being a defensive deck. It can be defensive, but I also want to attack. So controlling what my opponent has in the active, plus an extra, plus some extra switching is good because I don't actually play any basic switch cards in the deck. Maybe I should, but I don't. Um, and then two copies of Rigid Band, just reducing damage of your stage ones. Makes it a little tankier. Um, I, I'm not certain if this belongs in the deck right now, i got to say. So got to play with the deck a little more um, and figure that part out. Okay, so now getting to the supporters. Two copies of Professor's Research, just really good getting set up. But um, could could add some more copies in. But I don't always love to, re to research away the, the resources. So, you know, it, it, it is good, though. So two copies. I like that. Four Iono, just really good early. Get some cards. Disrupt the game late, hopefully. Uh, one copy of Tulip. Um, maybe this gets cut, but you put a com combination of four Psychic Pokemon and basic Psychic Energy from the Discord pile into your hand. Um, now, our main attacker, Espathra, is not a Psychic Pokemon. So just remember, that it doesn't get that back. So that's, that's the unfortunate part. But getting up to potentially full three or four energies to hand, that means we can accelerate big time with Zatu. So I like this. Um, it kind, Sometimes it just acts like superior energy retrieval, which of course is an item, not a supporter, but you do have to discard two cards for it. So it's kind of an even trade-off, I think, in a deck like this. And then three copies of Boss went... Had two, I think, before, upped it to three, because just I, a boss, just getting the pressure on our opponent, just controlling what, what they have in the active to either slow them down or to knock out Pokemon. Because a lot of times I find with this deck, I'm coming up a little short with Espathra EX's attacks, so their po opponent retreats to the bench, want to be able to finish things off, so boss's order is very good there. So I think, let's look, I think that's the list, and I'm finding it to be a solid deck, and let's take a look at the deck in action now. All right, let's see what happens here. We'd love to go first, as an, since it's basically a stage one deck. Um, got heads, that's great. So get to go first, and then hopefully we get a number of basics down. Hopefully getting the um, a buddy buddy poffin or two in hand would be super super nice. We'll send. Um, I'll put the not to in the active. It's a retreat cost is one. This is a this is a bad start. That's what I can say. This is a very bad start. Getting a mulligan, that's a good thing. Let's see, dark energy. Um, okay, Sada's Vitality. I assume it's an ancient box. What's that? Oh, Palkia. Palkia, okay. Uh, Palkia. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I need... I need I, okay. I'm going first, so... Um, or Pika, so it is the dark deck. Um, all right, let's see. Obviously, would, I need to get some basics in play. All right, so what do I have here? I have a Natu, another Natu. So I need to get a Flittle into play. I might actually want to sit and not use my Ultra Ball. That's kind of what I'm thinking. But do I want to drop down my stadium? That's the other question right now. Um, it's going to be disruptive to them to play. They're, they're hoping to attack, right? So I'm going to drop down my stadium. And 
I'm just end turn there. Save my Ultra Ball. I probably get rid of the Mewtwo. I don't think I need it for this matchup. Um, so Palkia, Roaring Moon. Um, again, so you know if I can get those 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 basic attackers to need two extra energies, it's very problematic. So the, uh, they have to to be able to attack this turn. They probably have to bump my Stadium because they could with Asada's take knock me out right that that's kind of what they're hoping to do normally um because they just would need two energies normally um but so dark pattern roaring moon and, and hopefully getting but they're going to need four energy on, on roaring moon to attack so um we'll see what happens okay um so palkia so like a hit with the rank or ninja i have no bench barrier so i'm vulnerable to that but um yeah, I mean, you know, Bench Barrier is good, but as long as I have evolved, the Zatu's 100 HP, so it takes two energy. So I need to I need to get my Zatu's evolved is what needs to happen here. So I think I accelerate my energy here. I could Ultra Ball want to ultra ball something here that's one of my questions too right um i think i want to keep my stadium so let me i kind of need to an energy but all right i'm just gonna accelerate my energy here we'll see what happens that's not great um hmm. i guess i'm just gonna pass at this point I could gust something up just to disrupt them. That I could do that. Um, do I want to? Do I want to try to slow them down here? I think I do, because I, I don't love my setup yet. So I'm gonna do this and end turn. So Palkia, they have they don't have any water in the discard pile. So there's a good chance that Palkia is gonna be stuck there, and I am liking that. So okay, that's they got a water in the discard pile. So that's good for them. Uh, I just, I just, I just need to kind of set up. The problem is at this point, um, I mean, I could thin out my hand too, and I could have actually thinned my hand to nothing and then mew for three. <laughs> I don't love that though. I gotta say. So let's see if they have some uh, two. If they have water energy, that would have been they, they would have discarded water energy if they had it, or even dark right, darkness, right? Because, but especially the water, they would have grabbed the palky up. V star and they could have tossed a bunch. Alright, so they're probably gonna Iono here. Or maybe they're gonna Sada. Um and the other was Luminion V. Oh well that that's that's pretty good for them. Um so they want to get some energy in the discard pile. So they're gonna Iono. And my hand wasn't great. And they should have they you know they probably should have known that. So they probably did know that. So not bad. Rigid band. Okay. See what happens here. Bumping my stadium. So I'm glad I kept the other stadiums because the stadium really is pretty important here, I would say. Um, now, if I'm going to switch, I probably have to get energy attached to Zatu and retreat, which I can. Um, but I also need to get energies on to my Espathra. And I just need to get my bench set up. So I need a, a whole bunch of things happening. What's their energy situation now? two waters so they can retreat but they, they they need three they actually need four energies on radiant greninja so i do like that so prime catcher all right they're going to take out the mu ex don't love that um i'm going to send i think up the espathra i don't like i'm not thrilled about that but i think that's what i got to do um I think that's the play I have to make. Because, I, yeah. I probably need some more switching in the deck. Um, let's see. No energy in the discard pile to recover. So I think I set up the Espathra. It's not great. Oh, no, no it is fine. Because they, they're weak to me. So I just blow him up. And they're going to have a tough, tough time next turn. They have the Palkia. So actually, the Palkia is going to be really important for them. So I should have the knockout here. Let me see, what's the damage level at this point? So I'm already knocking them out. So that's pretty nice. Drop that another Natu. Um, 
I'm going to research this turn, I think. But I don't want to burn these energies, so I'll kind of spread these energies around. Obviously, I wish I had another attacker. Oh, that's good. Um, do I want... I don't think I want Mewtwo EX, right? So I think I want these two Flittles into play. So that's good, because now, now I can... I mean, I wish I had had that sooner, but hopefully I hit, uh, I get another Zatu in play. Let's see. Did not. I don't think I want Mewtwo. EX. Because because I want because they're weak to dark, so I want to keep smacking away with dark weakness. So drop this on, make it tougher to knock out. I think I will. I'll attach to Flittle. Play my research, and I'm gonna drop down my stadium. And they, you know, they play their own stadiums. So, um, all right, grabbing the other basic, not what I wanted, but at least it gets it fitting the, the hand still. So, drop him and take the knockout. So now catching up on prizes, right? They, they gusted up my. Mew EX, so I take out their nice their attacker, um, and that's okay, right? Part, part of what Mew EX is here is also for Mimikyu. If opponents are playing that, I don't think, I'm not going to run into that here. I don't think they have the psychic energy, so not so worried about that. And I play what the one rod did I? So the rod's still in deck if I need to recover something. So they bump in my stadium. Not shocked by that, um, but they they need, they need four energies. So let's see, one dark patch. I think they burned some already too, right? Let me, uh, let me get a full look. Okay, that's just their second. So, I mean, and they can knock me out with their one attack. So I don't love that. So accelerate to... Wow, they, they, they accelerated one energy to the Palkia? That's pretty That's pretty nuts there. That's pretty... I mean, that's that's really bad. I'm... Oh, no, I'm sorry. They, 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 they put three on the... The Greninja, but they need right now they need four energies on the Radiant Greninja to make an attack. They need five. I, I apologize. They need five energies, and that's so they're gonna find out they can't attack here, right? Because they need two more energies, and they can't do that. So they needed to accelerate that that fourth. They need to accelerate that la, that fourth energy onto the Radiant Greninja. The third, right? They accelerate three. I assume with their V Star power. So now. Yeah, so yeah, they actually the three. They should they should they need so now they have to I mean, yeah, just not a happy occasion for my opponent there. Not a happy occasion. So um let's see, I play three boss in deck. I, I'm down two. I'll start tossing energy on the flittle. I'll put two on each at this point, I'm thinking. What's the damage level? He's just doing 60 right now. And 60 is not real good, I got to say. 60 is not what I want. But, so I probably need to Iono. And I do play Prime Catcher in deck, so I'm going to spread these energies around a little. Obviously, that energy on the Natu is a wasted energy there. Um, uh, so I'm going to have to Iono here. Do I want to attach... I'll attach, just get my damage level up a little bit, and Iono. If I hit Prime Catcher, I'll be very happy. I'd like to get the Zatu in play. Um, let's see what happens. Um, got another Aspathra down. Grab the Zatu. I mean, I'm just going to empty my hand here. I, I, I don't think I want a Pokey Stop because. The th thing is, the cards I hit off Pokestop, the way this deck's built, Pokestop's not going to do me that, do me very, not going to serve me very well. So, just do this and see what they can do. You know, the fact they need one or, or two more energies, right? If they, if they attack with Palkia V Star, they only need one more. So Palkia, wait, did they? Yeah, there's the Palkia. So they need three energies on Palkia V Star. They need one more water energy, in fact, in Palkia V-Star, and I don't know if they have that either. So we'll see what happens here. 
Um, I do finish off the Mew EX next turn. I mean, I'm not doing big damage, but there, that's the third Dark Patch, I think. So oh, that might be the fourth. So that's good, too. But they have a, an energy in hand. Okay, so I had a Dark Patch now. That That's a big plus. What's the, and the one energy left in the discard pile? Okay. So, you know, the disruption of, of Espathra is very good. Um, okay, so they're going to attack, and they're going to... Probably going to blow me up. I think they have to use the, the their first attack, though. They have to use their top attack to knock me out. And that means I just knock them right out. And the Palkia is going to need a third energy to attack. But that's they needed that water, so that means it opens up their ability to attack next turn. Um, I assume they're going to swing, but they need... Well, they should have attacked. They needed a fourth energy on... Okay, but what, what's the, what are they doing now? Palkia can't attack either. Okay, I think they don't understand what's happening here because they should have attached the, probably the fourth energy of Roaring Moon, sent him up, and once again, I think they find they can't attack and they're fo forced to Pokemon Catcher, which, look, I get Pokemon Catcher with Pokestop. It, it's certainly a, a smart play. Uh, um, but they're, you know... Unfortunately, my opponent is... Um, I think significantly misplaying. I think they've forgotten about what my state, what what the effects of my ability is. So got they're gonna, so gonna go. I think this is oh canceling cologne. So now they can attack. Um, they don't knock me out though, right? I don't think. Or do they? I'm saying one. What is it? Sixty. So two twenty. So two, I think they're doing two sixty. My, 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 uh, oh wait, does, does my, uh, the canceling close, does that stop my, uh, tool as well? I'll find out. I think they do too. So, well, if it stops my tool, then you knock me out. And I don't like that. So canceling clone ended up being super good for them. Um, what does it do? It has until my active, my opponent, my Pokemon has no abilities. So that, but the, uh, so I think is that four of those? Did they hit? That's three, and they've been all tail. So that's bad luck for them. Um, okay, getting energy, but I don't. I think they've already attached per turn. Um, but they can attack, right? So because of cancel and cologne. And I think did they fail that earthen vessel? They did. I don't know if they have any more energy in deck, right? They might not. The deck's pretty small. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's ten energies with the what's in the discard pile. So switching, I mean, <laughs> okay, I mean, wow. I mean, I guess they did that to thin, but that's this is not what they want to do. Oh, they can. Oh, that's right. They turned off my. That's right. I bumped. They turned off the, my ability. So they did take the knockout there. They probably don't have another cancel in Cologne though. So now it's gonna be hard. They can actually. Well, we'll see what happens here. Um, I do have knockout. And I don't really want a Buddy Buddy Poffin here. So I think I need to... I need to draw some cards, I guess, right? Um, the thing is, I need energy. I mean, I have Rod. Let's think. I do have... My energy retrieval's gone. Are there any items that I could get that are going to be useful? I really don't think there are. So I think I just need to attack. I think I just attack this turn. I don't lose the game to um, this turn, I don't think. I mean, if they can knock me out, I lose the game. All right, boss is good, so if they... S I mean, I have... Uh, will I win this game? I will I will w w finish off the Mew EX with boss's orders. Um, if they can knock out my active, they win. Uh, Radiant Green Ninja doesn't win on the game, though, because I don't... I only have one lower HP Pokemon on the bench, so... They could do that. They, they need one energy attachment to attack with him. They need an energy. They need the energy on something to attack. So, okay. So making this play, um, how am I going to work this? Um, I think I send up the Zatu with energy. No, they're going to, if they knock me out, I just lose the game. Right, so actually, they don't knock me out. The, the bench hasn't fallen off, right? So they're gonna attack me. 
And I think they don't. I, I don't one shot. I don't one shot them, but I, I think at this point they haven't played a supporter yet, right? But if my hand stays, I think I just gust up the Mew EX for game. I believe so. Two twenty, right? So that's good. That's fine. I'll just look here. I do one eighty, so that's not good enough at all. So gust you up and do my 90 so hitting twice into the mu ex has gotten me there so not the cleanest game and not by my certainly my opponent wasn't clean um i i probably could have maxed the been a little more efficient as well um so kind of thinking through the list and how i might want to tweak it too but got the win and uh you know very disruptive against what's a primarily a single prize deck the fact that they had the palkia gave them a chance in the game, right? I think without the Palkia, they wouldn't have had it. I, it would have been a very easy win. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, get to go first. Hopefully I got a good setup. Last game, I had an okay setup. I, I lost it. My, my opponent had Prime Catcher on there. For, um, they went second, had Prime Catcher, and took up my only Flittle, and it really set me to a spot. Well, this... <laughs> Oh man! Well, this 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 is about as bad as it gets. This might be the worst starting hand possible. Um, I guess it could be a Zatu instead, maybe. But wow, six energy is so. <laughs> oh man, this is just brutal. Okay, I mean, I, I this one seems like a keeper in the video just because. Wow, you know, you just it doesn't get much worse than this. I don't know if I'm right on. Okay, so. I uh, draw Iono, so that's good. If I survive this turn, I have something, but <laughs> it's probably, is it like an, an, uh, an Iron Hands deck? I'm guessing, in which case it might be like, or even Future Hands, I don't know. Um, right. Oh no, it's just, okay. So if they get Electric Generator, they can take me out. They have Squawk, but okay, so I haven't run in, I haven't seen the good old, uh, Good old Raichu in a while, actually. Right on Raichu. Um, there's no more Flaffy, but I kind of didn't, you know, I always kind of didn't love the Flaffy. So they're going to grab two, a, gener a generator and a four steel stone. Okay, so all they have to do, so they need to switch here, but they just need to get two energies and they get the game. So, and they have Squawk ability to use and they have four steel stone. So they. Now, they, I don't think they should have used the Forest Seal Stone yet. I, I, I do think that was a mistake. They should have generated first, right? Because now they, they just they should have generated first and see what that was. Um, but anyway, it, it worked out for them. But I don't think the that one. I don't. I think they should have held off on the on the Forest Seal Stone. Use all your other resources. But anyway, I had the brutal, brutal start and uh, got the end to the game that I deserve with a, a opening hand like that. All right, let's see what happens. This, this game, I think it just has to be better than the last game, because I, I, I do think it might have been <laughs> might have been the worst starting hand possible last game. The only good thing is I, I did top deck an Iono, but I didn't get survived to turn two to actually play it. So I had one Flittle and six energies is what I drew to start the game. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> and I got donked, and I, I deserve that. So I, I accept that and uh, just say, hey, you know, randomness is what it is, right? So, okay, this is this is solid. Am I first or second? Um, I don't remember. I'll find out, I guess, when the timer starts. So I'm first. Okay, this is good. I don't know what I'm up against. Um, well, I, I'm just going to grab two Zatus. I have an, another Flittle in hand. I will capture Garoma. I'm not sure what I want to grab. Let's see. Do I want to grab a Zatu? I think I want to grab... I think a Spathra is probably the better way to go here. I don't know. I'm going to attach energy to... Well, I'm going to attach energy to the guy on the bench, right? I have free retreat, so might as well. I'll leave him up there. And because uh, I can swing into the Aspathra. I could have grabbed a Zatu. But and I don't know if, the, you know, if I get Iono, it I, I, I doesn't matter what I grab. So up against Lost Zone. Um, so so Cramorant 
you know, the spathra does not get hurt, does not hurt Kramer because it ignores all energy costs. So Kramer, it's going to be tricky, but, you know, assuming, if ideally, it's, you know, lost Tina, I'm not going to be happy about that, I got to say, because um, it does, it, it one shots me very easily. And also when they use their first attack, they, they actually lost zone energies, which then, wow, got rid of a rescue board, which is a nice card. So that means they got some good options there, right? Rescue board. Um, and artisan both, but they probably don't want to play artisan because they see what I'm playing, and they don't, they know rescue uh, artisan is going to help me out a lot too. But rescue board would have been nice to have attached to the comfy here, so um, probably grabbed a colrus then, right? They don't think oh they played colrus to start with, so there are three, so that another switch card, okay. If they knock out my act, I have to send up the espath the the flittle it comes in espathra. He does not get the knockout, though. I mean, it's 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 bad news for me. So they're gonna take the knockout, I assume. Uh, so it's lost Tina. Uh, not a happy situation for me at all. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll see. I, I may just lose next turn. I because I don't one shot the Cramorant. Um, I have to send this Flittle up, I think, because otherwise I probably can't attack at all. And that I don't think I can afford. I mean, I I don't know. Zatu, do I want to? I think I need to. Let me just look here. I'm doing 30 damage, 60, so I can get up to 90, <laughs> and that's not enough. So I, I'm going to. I'm gonna accelerate an energy to my Zatu, I guess, because um, I, I just need to try to get something going here. That's what needs to happen. So, and I'll get down another. Do I have? Oh, I wanted to mute. The mute two would have been nice. I don't think uh, that's what I was hoping for because I had a one card hand or possibly a zero card hand. But um, or Mew X, sorry, I don't really want Mew two for this game. I don't think so. I'll grab another Flittle, and uh, I don't think I rod here. I mean, this is just this is terrible too. Okay, so. Kramer does attack for free. I do finish it off next turn, so uh, obviously I didn't want to explode energy to the Zatu. I would have liked to have gotten out the Flittle. Um, yeah, this is just not not a good start here. Uh, opponents, what, they have six already? Seven, eight, so they can use Mirage Gate, which means they Temple of Sinnoh, which, but that doesn't, they don't, that doesn't help them. It doesn't hurt me this match. As they probably as they probably know, so but they could barrage gate gear to V Star and take out my Spathra, and uh, that pretty much ends the game for me if they do that. I mean the game that that first turn wasn't good, um, and my second turn, my first turn wasn't the worst thing in the world, but um, yeah, it wasn't great, it wasn't great. So see what happens here. Um. I, maybe they don't have Mirage Gate. They have Mirage Gate. Excuse me, they need the three. They need a lot of energies to pull that off. So, so maybe they so I wonder what they're going to do here. Maybe they're just going to take out this Flittle. The Mirage Gate does impact Giratina V-Star, though, so they need four energies on him, or they need three to start Requiem. But they're going to take out this Flittle, I assume. Um, if not, it does have free retreat, but, I, you know. Um, they, they, you know, they could have gusted up the Zatu. That would have been an option too. So they might just be going to hit me with Cramorant. So, fortunately, it's if that's the case, it's not the big turn that they were hoping for. Especially when they got to, uh, oh, they're still going with Comfy. So they have some more switching options, I guess. Um, there. Okay. So just look at the energy situations there. Okay. So Cramorant, if they had healed the Cramorant, I wouldn't get the knockout this turn. You know, I will say that. So if, 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 I, they might not have had it available anyway, but if they had had switch card at the start of the turn, I would miss the knockout, and that would be even worse, right? So, wait, what's my situation? So, all right, I got to use my rod here, because I need some flittles. Because <laughs> I need two flittles, and I don't know if there's any flittles. I'm not sure what the prizes are, so flittle, flittle. Uh, fly away. All right, let's see what happens. Um, I do take a knockout. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> 
two shotting a cram rat, 60 damage each with my stage one EX. So that is not good. All right, Mew EX, I really, really would have liked you not to have been prized because I don't know what I would have gotten, but I would have gotten another two or three cards earlier in the game. So they're probably going to knock me out, though. If... Yeah, that probably doesn't happen. I mean, potentially... I could get the knockout with Mew EX, too. Um, right? I can't use Star Requiem because I don't have the cards in the Lost Zone to use it, but I could I could hit him for 280. They need another energy, though. So, right? I assume they have it. And Sableye needs an extra energy, which is good, too, for me. Oh, so that really is bad, bad news for them. But Sableye... Wow. I mean, wow, okay. I mean, they shouldn't have sent up the uh, the Giratina, though, right? They changed their mind. They're going to take out the two Flittles, which isn't terrible at all, but... Um, ooh, do they take him out, too, or do they leave him? Yeah, wow, okay, well, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Um, you know, I, I there's not much I can do about that. So I will... I do have the knockout. That's, that's a real plus. Um, so I'm doing what 120 I think I need to get my board set up though um, so let me restart here and then I will accelerate energy okay well that, that that's pretty good um, I can't really put in, the problem is, is they win the game with Sableye next turn possibly right which I don't love that. I do not love that. Um, and I'll, I'll drop this on here. I'm gonna. I, I'm doing this just to kind of thin what I'm drawing, right? So I, because whatever, I don't need a Pokemon. I can't play down any of these Pokemon. So I mean, I can't. I can't drop down a basic because they just need to. Um, to, you know, not come out. I'm putting them to a nice small hand size. Um, they're going to set up a comfy, I assume. So I will attach here. And I take the knockout. Um, if they can Mirage Gate, they do... I mean, Mirage Gate just knocks out anything. I mean, if they can get... They need four energies right now, though. If they can get the lost, if they lost impact, sorry. But they need Mirage Gate. They, they need two full Mirage Gates to do that, though, because they need four energies. So, um, so we'll see what we can do here. Um, let's. See, what do I have? No energies in the discard piles. Okay, so Tulip doesn't help me. I mean, I want energies in play. Is what I want right now. So, um, and I would like to. Um, hit into that Giratina V-Star. That's what I'd like to do, right? I would like to finish off the Giratina V-Star. Um, okay, so... I think... I'm gonna... Uh, Zatu, because boss is nice too. I, I do like smacking into the Giratina V-Star. Oh, so I can... I can take out the Giratina V-Star now, right? So I think that's my play, right? That's my play. Take him out, I believe. Oh, no, I need four energies, though. I need four energies, right? So at this point, I'm doing what? I'm doing 120. I think this is the play. I think smack into the Giratina and uh, he needs four energies on the Giratina. My opponent needs four energies on the Giratina V-Star. I don't think they can pull it off. If they if they do, hats off to them. So I I don't even know if I'm going to want to... I might Iona this next turn. Uh, see what they get here. What's their call risk situation, by the way? Because I'm sure that's that's obviously one of the cards they would like. There's one call risk left. Roxanne, um, which they can't use, though. So that's very nice, too. Because I've only taken two prizes. Um, boss would, you know, they, they need that Cramorant back, probably. Um, 
Okay. So... I think I just attack here. I think I'll just take the knockout here. They're going to Roxanne me. I guess I should have Ionoed, actually. That was a mistake. I should have Ionoed. That was really dumb, now that I think about it, right? Should have Ionoed. Oh, that's right. I didn't have the knockout that turn. That's right. I for Oh, that's right. I'm only doing 120, so I was t 20 away from knockout. So I own it this turn. So I'm glad. Okay. I was dumb. I didn't think it through properly. I was thinking I was getting the knockout that turn, which that was dumb. But I, I own it now. I still have my stadium in play. Let me capturing Aroma because, again, I don't put any Pokemon on the bench because they're all low HP. I'd love to get the Zatu out of play. I don't have a way to do that, of course. Um, Mewtwo EX. No, I think I just, so I just Iono here. Gets rid of the Roxanne, which is really good. And uh, I'd like to get some more energy on the Mew. Okay, this this is very nice here. Uh, we'll get some more energy in play on the Mew EX, because now he... Um, okay. And I will drop an energy onto my active, and I have boss, so I'm, pr I'm about as well set up as I can be. Keep the Espathra in the active, because um, obviously I'm super vulnerable to anything by my opponent still. So because they're down to one prize left, um, my margin for error is slim. If they get Sableye in play, well, Sableye needs two extra energies. So they need three energies on Sableye. So that part's really good. Um, they have two more Mirage Gates to play. Yeah, they haven't lost some to any. They've played two. So, okay, I see what happens here. I, I'm glad I have the boss. Um, they were to play Giratina V down. I don't have the knockout. So Jet Energy, okay, just drawing, trying to set up more. I get that. Um, I don't think I can one-shot a Giratina V, though. One, two, three, four, five. I, I think, what I, no, I can't, I cannot, even if I get another energy on. So they get the Roxy in that turn. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. So they're, they're, I mean, Mewtwo, yeah, isn't, you know, Mewtwo, let's think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I get two on here, I need nine, 270. So, so Mewtwo with two energies does one shot a Giratina V, and even one shot's a Giratina V star. Um, I probably take the knockout here, and then I still have to hope, right? So if they get Cramorant in play, Cramorant boss gets some game next turn. And they probably they may have another boss. They used the counter catcher, right? And they've just played. Oh, they haven't played any boss. So they they drop them down Giratina V. Okay. Um, can they get dropping two gear? So that might be. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, that's all right. That's okie dokie. Um, all right. So we'll send up another comfy. I uh, two Giratina V is a bit odd. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I mean, just the, the, maybe they have one Giratina V. I hit into one. They can keep switching and kind of dragging the game out some, right? So I am doing 150. Let's think here. He does 160. Um, do I want to... I'm going to accelerate here. If they get the V-Star set up, I lose. But I'm going to toss this energy onto the Mew EX because now Mew EX can attack, right? And um, I like that. So I'm going to research here. Tulip boss. Okay, boss is nice as well. Um, do I want to... Do I want to hit something? I think I just sit on the boss at this point. I'm doing how much? 150. So I think I just attack here. I'm doing 180. I could boss, but it doesn't really matter. Right? Well, I can't boss any because I researched. But next turn. If they evolve to the V-Star, I just I have game. I'll have game next turn no matter what if they don't win with this hand. Right? I have boss in hand. They play to Roxanne. I'm guessing they don't play a second Roxanne. 
I don't know though. Maybe they do. But I'm thinking they don't. 14 in the loss zone. So they've, you know, obviously down, they've dug through their deck pretty nicely. Um, Cramorant boss wins, gets them game. And they, they have a, the switch off comfy. But after this, they don't have free switching anymore. What, they, what have they done? They, they're probably out of jet energies to play, I would guess. They dropped, a, got rid of a board. But they can only retreat once anyway. Um, what's their switching situation here? Um, two switch, two switch cards So I, uh, that have been played. So they may have some more switching cards in deck. Uh, so making choices here. Um, they, they know they're in, in, a, in a tight spot here. So this is where Spathra, with, with, with its disruption, has come up huge here, I got to say. Um, you know, maybe I can pull this one out. I was crazy far behind. If I pull this out, this is just due to the, the disruption of Espathra, right? The damage level hasn't been great. Um, I can't one-shot them, so that's their, 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 their plan, right? So they're probably just going to leave them here, and they can retreat next turn, they're thinking as well, if they have to, right? I'm guessing Radiant Greninja, which would also pretend, so they should have Radiant Greninja before the switching, right? They, uh, before retreating, I think, right? They, they just, yeah, they should have done that because they need to see what their resources are. So I think that was a little bit of a missequence there. I think use the Radiant Greninja, if that was the plan. Um... Okay, down to two cards in deck, and they conceded, and I had game in hand, so um, Espathra, with its disruption, up against the deck I really, really don't like to play against uh, Lost Zone Tina. Um, it's just, I don't like it because it's a good deck. I, I just, it's a tough deck to beat. It, with a lot, it's very good into a number of matchups, Lost Tina. Um, so, but was managed to get the win. Um, Again, you know, the Espathra just making life that little bit more difficult. And then also the stadium, um, which, which, which negatively impacted things too. So I was able to pull out a win when I got way behind there and certainly felt nervous about things. But hey, uh, very pleased with Espathra. I am liking it. Certainly is a very solid attacker, uh, highly disruptive, and I think can, can tilt games in your favor. So, you know, Give it a try, and if you have other suggestions for how to use this bathroom, let me know because I do. I am looking. I, it's, I am right now considering other ways to try to to play other decks. I can work it into where it might might find a spot. So, uh, play some Pokemon, have fun, and take care.